Hi guys, it's Wombat. And in today's video I'm gonna talk about something that I've been asked about a lot. I often get the question what graphics mods I use and the truth is in most of my videos I use none. Instead I have been shown the magic secrets of great graphics settings by Bang & J, the creator of the Swedish Islands map mod. In other words, all credits for this video goes to Bang & J and I want to thank him for his support and help getting these amazing settings up and running for me. It's thanks to Bang & J that I'm able to pass this knowledge on to you guys. And with that said, these settings work for me on my NVIDIA GTX 1066GB card. And just because these settings work works for me, it doesn't necessarily mean that they will work for you. So here's a giant disclaimer for you. By attempting to replicate these settings, you might ruin your settings or in worst case make the game unplayable and possibly even make Windows unusable. You do this at your own responsibility, do not come blaming me if you ruin your settings, I will not try to help you sort the mess up if your settings doesn't match mine or if the settings turns out to make the game look worse than it did before. I'm only showing you what is working for me. And with the giant disclaimer out of the way, let's get to it. The first thing we want to do is to start up a profile with no mods whatsoever on it. Just a basic profile with the game and nothing more. You then want to find a place on the map where you have uh, phone lines or um, electric lines on it. And there's a great place here in uh, on the Baltics DLC in St. Petersburg, which I'm going to use for this because there you have both poles and lines going by the road and across the road as well. So um, let's have a look at it. Now what I want to look at here is the, um, the poles and lines going up there. Uh, fences possibly as well are good to keep as a reference. If you come a little bit further straight ahead here you'll see that um, there are also lines going over the road. They're coming up here right in front of us now. So these poles and these uh, power lines or phone lines or whatever they are uh, are really really good to use as a reference to see if you're if you have the correct settings or not. So they should look something like they are looking in my video here right now. Um, and um, yeah, compare that to how it looks for you on your computer, both before you do make any changes and after you've made changes. So let's start by looking at what the game settings or graphic settings in game in many cases are. We're running 1920 by 1080, uh, everything set to as high as possible more or less, uh, anti-aliasing on and scaling 400%, ultra and high settings, everything checked. First thing we need to do is remove anti-aliasing MLAA and set the scaling to 100% click apply after this and well that's it you've changed the settings you need to change in game and of course we're going to use those settings don't worry about the scaling and MLAA we'll fix that using something called the Nvidia uh, profile inspector instead so let's quit the game and get into the profile inspector so the application we're using, NVIDIA Profile Inspector, it is a zip file you download, you extract it, and when you extract it you'll end up with these files here. 
And as you can see, the NVIDIA Profile Inspector requires elevated rights. So you double click it, press yes to allow it to make changes to your computer. After all, we are going to make changes to the graphic settings on your computer. In here, we have all the games that your NVIDIA drivers support. So there's a ton of applications and games in here. I'm going to search for Euro. Euro. And then we have Euro Truck Simulator 2. There are eight settings that you need to verify and possibly change. The first one is the anti-aliasing compatibility. It probably says uh, OX0000000 <laughs> and it should say OX40401C1. Now this setting as well as the other settings we're gonna change or verify are listed in the video description. So um, just paste OX40401C1 from my video description and put it in here. The next change we're gonna make or verification we're gonna make is the anti-aliasing mode. It's going to be set to override any application settings. And the settings then should be four time multi-sampling. Transparency super sampling, also four times spare grid super sampling. Toggle effects AA on or off should be set to off. An isotropic filtering mode, user-defined off. An isotropic filtering setting 16 times. And finally, texture filtering quality, high quality. Now once you've verified and possibly set all these eight settings, you press the export user, sorry, you first apply changes and then export this user-defined prof user profile. So export current profile only. And when you do that, you can save that as uh, default Euro Truck Simulator 2.nip. So that is the profile uh, for Euro Truck Simulator. And if you then choose the American Truck Simulator, there we have it. It's the exact same settings, the same eight settings with the exact same values in all eight settings. Change these as well. Save the profile as well after applying changes. And make sure you have those two NIP files, one for Euro Truck Simulator and one for American Truck Simulator, somewhere handy because every time NVIDIA updates your graphic uh, drivers, some of these settings will be set back to default. Now what happened to me over the weekend was that this setting was reset to default. I still had, after the update, the remaining seven settings set to the same values as they had before I did the upgrade of the drivers. Still, very convenient to not have to bother with looking at the settings at all, just import user profile, double click in this case, since we are looking at the American Truck Simulator, double click this one and import this to allow that to overwrite these settings you have here. So make sure you use that NIP file and import it every time your graphics drivers are updated. And that's it. So that was all the settings I had to change on my computer. Uh, I desperately tried to make ETS and ATS perform the best they could using um, uh, 400% scaling and MLAA, 
those were the only two settings I removed from the game and had the NVIDIA uh, profile inspector deal with instead. Um, everything else that was changed was changed using the profile inspector. And I assume that if everything goes south, uh, that is because there is something wrong with the settings you have on your NVIDIA profile inspector. And if that is the case, just reinstall your NVIDIA drivers and you should be good to go again. Reinstalling should revert the NVIDIA settings back to default and if they don't I strongly recommend that you go to the NVIDIA forum and talk to someone who is an expert on NVIDIA cards and they will probably be able to help you sort that out. One person who will not be able to help you sort that out is Wombat Trucker. Despite him being a nerd, he don't know anything about NVIDIA cards other than what cards to own. And that is the 1066 gigabyte card that I'm running because using that card, things looks pretty good, doesn't they? <laughs> uh, and with that said, I hope you're gonna enjoy your new settings. I hope they work for you. I hope they work very well. And um, yeah. Thank you for watching and give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Feel free to share it, especially if this settings works for you. And uh, I hope to see you guys again next time. Take care everyone. Bye bye.